guys good morning what is up and welcome back to another vlog it is currently saturday right now so i'm gonna be doing just like a little two three day vlog and i wanted to do that because today's saturday and i am going to be going and doing a little bit of home decor shopping I'm so excited. I have not been to a HomeSense in a bit, so I really want to go. I have a $50 HomeSense gift card, and I just want to go and do a little bit of window shopping. There's not a ton of like decor that I need, but I just want to do a little bit of window shopping, get a few little things maybe here and there, and just bring you guys along for a little home decor shop with me. So I think I'm going to go to four different places, I'm thinking. So I want to go to HomeSense, I want to go to Michael's, which both of those things are very close together, so I can do those. And then I also want to go to StruckTube, which just recently a new StruckTube opened up here where I live, so I'm going to go and check that out. And then I also want to go to Indigo, aka Chapters Indigo, that place. So anyways, I'm very excited to bring you guys along. We're going to do that today. And then I think um, tomorrow we have my brother and his girlfriend Taylor coming over for a board game day slash night. Um, we're going to have some chicken wings and some subs for dinner and it's just going to be a lot of fun. So that's going to be the vlog and I'm super excited. It's mainly going to be a shop with me so hopefully you guys enjoy that. I know that a lot of people really enjoy my shop with me's. So we can go and check out some fall decor and stuff like that. I do already have a ton of fall decor so I don't really think I need any but we will see what I find um and yeah let's without further ado get this vlog started and I hope you guys enjoy So we are now back in the car. As you guys saw, I went to Indigo. They have a ton of really beautiful things. My only problem with Indigo is that it is a little bit on the pricey side. I find that a lot of stuff, like I guess thinking about it, like their pillows aren't too expensive compared to like home sets and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure I saw like 30 to $40 range, which is pretty similar to HomeSense, but I don't know, I just feel like all of the stuff there is a little bit expensive, but there was some like prints and stuff, like art prints that were really, really cute. 
um, that were on sale. So I almost got a few of those, but I held myself back because I don't think I actually have any frames to put those in. So, you know, once I get frames and once I actually have somewhere to put them, then I will go ahead and buy them. But um, yeah, you guys also saw that Struck Tube is still closed, unfortunately. I guess they weren't quite ready to do their grand opening today, so they're opening on Tuesday of this coming week, which is a little bit of a bummer. I wanted to go there today to show you guys some stuff. Struck Tube has some really nice, just like smaller decor pieces. I don't know if they'll have them in this store, but yeah, they have a lot of cute decor pieces. They have a lot of cute pillows and blankets and stuff like that, which I was excited to look at. Obviously, Francis and I don't really need any big pieces of furniture right now, which is what StruckTube is mostly known for, but um, they do have a lot of cute smaller pieces. So a little bit bummed out when I saw that sign that said that it was opening until Tuesday, but that is okay. We'll make it there someday but for now I'm going to head over to HomeSense and Michael's. I feel like those two places are going to be a little bit more um, hopeful for <laughs> things that I can pick up. I also have a $50 gift card from HomeSense so we'll definitely be picking up something there and then once we get home I will show you guys what I got. So let's head over to those two places. Okay guys, so it is a lot later. I ended up getting home and Francis and I went grocery shopping and then we watched the Raptors basketball game, had some dinner and that was pretty much it. He's currently downstairs playing a video game so if you hear something, that's what you hear. But I wanted to show you guys what I ended up getting from all of the different places. I ended up getting one thing from Michael's, 
a bunch of stuff from HomeSense. I just cracked my finger. <laughs> a bunch of stuff from HomeSense because I had the gift card. And I also got one thing from the grocery store that was considered home decor. So I'm just gonna show you guys now. So the first thing, like I said, I got something from the grocery store and that is a mug. We have a Zares by our house and Zares has the cutest, just like, I don't even know, it's not home decor. I guess they have some home decor, um, but they have a lot of cute like dishware and kitchenware. So this was just a little mug. I just loved this color and like the detail on it. I just think it is very like boho, girly. I don't know, I just think it is beautiful. So I ended up picking it up. It was only $4 and I just need more mugs that don't have any foil on them. When I drink my coffee, I don't normally finish it before it gets cold. So I do have to warm it up multiple times in the microwave each day and you can't warm up coffee in a mug that has foil on it because it will spark and it's just not good. So anyways, that's what I got from the grocery store. And then I ended up getting this from Michael's which I used the 40% off or it might've been 30% off. Um, and these ended up being like $10 and I'm going to be putting these in a pot or like a vase that I have down in the Planting Roses office. Um, I do think I'll have to cut quite a bit of the stems off, but I just love this stuff. It's very, again, natural boho kind of look. I'm sure you guys have seen this before but obviously it is fake and I do really love them. So I'm excited to put those in the Planning Roses office. And then the rest of it is from HomeSense. So I ended up getting a few things for the kitchen, a few things for the bathroom, and then a rug for the Planning Roses office, which I asked on my Instagram um, between two different rugs because I couldn't pick between the two. And at first the rug that I bought was winning in the poll but then now the other one's winning in the poll so it's a little bit too late for that but I am really really happy with the decision that I made um the other rug was a little bit like crunchy I guess and I was scared that it wouldn't you know end up laying flat which when I'm working and stuff I do not want to be like tripping on this rug so I went with the one that you know laid flatter but anyways the first thing that I got was this guy right here I think I just spit <laughs> my bad um but i got these right here these are microfiber cloths recently i've been trying not to buy any paper towel we still have some but less now because we're not going to be using them in our kitchen because your girl got a crap ton of microfiber cloths this is a 10 pack and i really wanted ones that were just like neutral so you get like a gray a lighter gray white beige and then this like polka dotted pattern so very happy with that purchase and it was I think $9.99 for the 10 pack which like a dollar for each microfiber cloth it's pretty freaking good and then the second thing I just quickly picked this up at the like exit area or like the cash out area but this is also for the kitchen it was $4.99 it's this little brush right here for scrubbing dishes and stuff like that has the wooden handle which I love and then it is marble and it has the brush so I'm excited to be able to you know clean things off before we put them into the dishwasher um, and then I got two things for the bathroom which if you guys have seen my bathroom transformation video which you haven't I'll put it up here if I can remember but we actually put a black shower curtain and since we did that I wasn't in love with it just because I don't know it just makes our shower very very dark which I don't appreciate when I'm trying to like shave my legs and stuff so I ended up switching it out for a white one this one is just plain white but then it has a little bit of texture to it and I really really love this they had a few cute ones but I ended up going with this one it was $30 and then I ended up getting just a new um, liner as well because ours is um, turning funny colors at the bottom and it's really gross. So we got a new one. <laughs> and then lastly, like I said, I got a rug for the Planning Roses office. I've been wanting a rug down there for so long because it just, 
it makes the whole space cozy and I just have been wanting one. So I figured with the whole, um, you know, transformation makeover that I've done in the Planning Roses office, we could get a run for it. So this is the one that I ended up getting. It's going to be hard to show you guys it, but I love this. I wanted to take this opportunity to get a rug that I wouldn't normally get um, with some more color than I'm normally comfortable with just because the Planning Roses office is, you know, my creative space and is the only space in the house right now that has a ton of color and this is just gorgeous. Um, I was going between this one and then just a beige with yellow accents but I ended up getting this one because it brought in a little bit more. It has like the pink color throughout it but then it also has the yellow and then some blue as well so I'm really excited about it it's not too big of a rug it was only $34.99 amazingly but yeah hopefully you guys can see that I absolutely love it and we're gonna go put it down in the office right now because I am way too excited to see what it looks like but yes that is everything that I ended up purchasing let's go do a few things and then head to bed finished the stream Francis and I actually ended up doing a stream together and we played a game called Among Us which is so much fun um, but now I'm currently in the front room putting all of my clothes away I did two or three loads of laundry last weekend and I'm just getting to putting my clothes away today so I'm gonna do that um, I also ended up putting up the shower curtain last night I don't think I filmed it so I'll show you guys what that ends up looking like or it ended up looking like I love it it makes the bathroom a lot brighter which is nice um, we haven't taken a shower in that shower yet but I assume the inside of the shower is now a lot more bright but a little bit of sad news there might not be a um, board game night tonight unfortunately my brother Reed and Taylor um, they're not coming as of right now just because Taylor's cat unfortunately had to go to the vet. I don't know exactly what is wrong with her kitty but they are currently waiting to hear back from the vet and they don't want to come here until they know exactly what's going on. So we're just kind of waiting, seeing what happens if they don't end up coming. I don't really know what I'm going to do for the rest of this vlog. We might just end up doing like a little Q&A or something. It might be fun. Um, but I am gonna, you know, vlog with you guys while I do some laundry here, um, and then if they do come, I'll show you guys that. Francis and I still want to order, um, subs. We're gonna get some firehouse subs, as well as some chicken wings. Anyways, yes, I'm gonna continue doing my laundry, and then I will catch up with you guys.
moment, I quickly wanted to show you guys how this is looking. It's definitely a lot brighter in here and I do really like it. I'm excited to see how bright it is in the shower. But yeah, that's just how the bathroom is now looking. There's a lot less black and a lot more white, which is interesting, but yeah, that is how it looks. I guess there's like white and like the accents and stuff, which is good, but yes, that's me. I'm also wearing Francis' sweater. It says Mr. Happy and he's giving the finger. Okay friends, so this is the aftermath of me planning in my bed. Normally I do not plan in my bed. I normally plan on a desk, but this was really nice. It was very comforting. Also, little sneak peek possibly of my planner um, layout. Uh, we'll see if you guys can see that from there, but yeah, I absolutely love my planner and I'm so excited for you guys to work it. Oh my goodness. Anyways, I'm gonna go and have a little snack for the night to spend the rest of the night with Francis. And then I think I'm actually going to extend this vlog a little bit till tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys then. Oh no, my sock is falling off. Okay guys, so it is now Monday. Hello, welcome back. Um, I have not vlogged all day today. I kind of wanted a day off of vlogging for the most part. Obviously I'm vlogging right now, but this is just to end off this vlog, but I'm going to be starting a new vlog tomorrow. And I wanted a break from vlogging today because for the next four days, I'm going to be vlogging full on my entire work day for you guys. I'm so excited. So many people have been asking for me to bring back a lot of like my office vlogs, more behind the scenes of my at-home business and stuff like that. And to be honest, I've been very like nervous to do that. And just like, I don't know. I don't know why I've been nervous. I think it's like the coolest thing ever to see behind the scenes of at-home businesses. Um, but I just always felt like people were going to like judge the way that I ran my business or something like that. I don't know, but hopefully... <laughs> No one does that to please be nice to me. I'm a little bit nervous to film this tomorrow and all this week But anyways on to this one um, I have to end this one before we can begin tomorrow's so anyways, um, like I said I am going to be doing an Instagram little Q&A for the end of this vlog So I did post on both my planning roses Instagram Which if you are not following yet you definitely should because I'm going to be starting to show a lot of sneak peeks of the Planning Roses planner within the next little bit in September and October before it's getting released in November. So definitely go and follow Planning Roses. You do not want to miss those. And then also I posted it on my like personal Instagram, which is Jenna Rose Beasley. Definitely go follow that as well if you'd like to see a little bit more of my life. Anyways, let's get into this Q&A. The first question is, will or when will we see the planners? So like I said, I will be showing more sneak peeks in September and October. I am just currently waiting for like my final, final edition of the planner. I did end up, um, the last time that you guys saw the planner on this channel, um, there was a few minor things that I changed to the planner, like the planner isn't rounded on the corners anymore, it's squared off, so I don't really want to show pictures of the planner that I have now because it's different than what you guys will receive, so the sides are no longer rounded and then also the paper is a little bit thicker than it was before and a slight different color than it was before. So the one that I got last had a little bit of like a 
a blue tint to it and a lot of the stickers that I was trying in it, the white of the sticker paper was a lot different than the paper in my planner. Obviously there's gonna be some variance between like shops and stuff, but yeah, I'm just waiting for those final, final planners to get in. Next up is, will you continue to make monthly kits and will they fit in your PR planner? So after this year of 2020, I think I'm going to stop making monthly kits just because I'm no longer really making monthly kits specifically for the Erin Condren planner as I don't really support that business anymore. Um, so I'm not going to be making them for the Erin Condren, but I will possibly, we will see, um, start making some for my Planning Roses planner. I just don't really know how, you guys will see when you see the layout of the Planning Roses planner, like monthly spread. It's very simple and I feel like you know, there wouldn't be really a huge way to like add a ton of stickers to it. You guys will see. Um, but I might be able to make like some specific, you know, simple stickers for it, if that makes sense. Next up is actually from Carrie. Oh, what is up, girl? She asks, how was your Rosebuds workout today? So basically I have a Discord, which if you guys wanna join my Discord, you're welcome to. It originally started out as like, an Animal Crossing, like a gaming Discord, um, but I've actually recently started adding a lot of just like random lifestyle channels. We added a fitness channel, we added tattoo channel, and like, I don't even know, there's so many different channels of just like fun things to chat about. So I just recently, like I said, added a fitness channel and a girl on the Discord, her name's Britt, she actually came up with the idea of doing like a weekly challenge, like fitness challenge. So she made a huge playlist of YouTube videos and assigned like each day, like certain videos that you have to do each day. And we are all kind of trying to do it together. I actually did a workout this morning, four different YouTube videos. I got up early, I did it. Today has felt amazing and I have not felt this good and this like productive in a really long time. So I'm really proud of myself. So yes, Carrie. It went great. I woke up at eight o'clock. I did my four videos and I showered, I had breakfast. I started work at a good time. It was just a good freaking day. So I'm very, very happy that we started this and shout out to all my ladies and men over there on <laughs> the Discord. I love you guys so much. And yeah, definitely go check out my Discord. I will have it linked down below. Next question is, won't you create a September bundle? And I'm thinking that this person is referring to my bullet journal bundles, which I feel really, really bad because I kind of just stopped making those randomly. And I apologize for anyone that enjoyed my bullet journal bundles. I will be coming back out with them. I just wasn't like 100% happy with the way that they were turning out and the way that they were looking in you know, like bullet journals. A lot of people's paper in bullet journals are different than the sticker paper. And it really bugged me that I could like see the outline of the stickers in people's bullet journals. And I don't know why that bugged me so much. I could see it a, a little bit in like my bullet journal as well. And I don't know, I just, it really bugs me. So basically I decided I'm going to stop making them for now. I'm really gonna look into possibly creating bullet journal bundles on like a, matte clear transparent sticker paper it will still be colored stickers but the paper is going to be transparent so you're not going to be able to see like the outline of where the stickers have been cut if that makes sense so that the white of the sticker paper is not going to be different than the sticker paper in the bullet journal so i'm going to look into that i've been meaning to divvy into like transparent colored stickers so get excited for that um, I've seen some other sticker shops do it and I really really love the way that they look and I really want to kind of put a little twist on them myself. So yes, I'm very excited for those and very excited to bring back the bullet journal bundles bundles better than ever. <laughs> what are the chances you'll bring mugs to your shop as well? So that is a question and that is actually <laughs> one of the products that I'm kind of like thinking about bringing to my shop so 
we will see. It'll definitely be at first kind of a test kind of thing. I'm thinking about doing it with the same company that I'm doing the like apparel and stuff with. So we will see if that ends up working out. Very excited. Francis is coming upstairs. Are you trying to be quiet? Cause you're not, you're not being quiet. <laughs> May I help you? Oh, he wants his laptop. Have you ever thought about doing a Planning Roses sticker book with roses, icons, scripts, etc.? I actually think that is such a good idea. Girl, thank you so much. Carrie Ann Plans, you're amazing. I'm going to put that on my list of things um, to possibly do. I've seen other shops do these like cute little sticker books where they kind of just like staple the pages together and make a little book. I think that'd be great. That'd be so cute. I could do like a mix of like icons and foiled stuff. Ooh, I might have to work on that for a possible like Black Friday thing. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Ooh, excited. Let me know if, if you, you'd buy one of those down in the comments. Are you letting your bangs grow back to your hair length? So if you guys do not know, these used to be like straight across bangs. They are very long now. And I think I'm gonna let them grow out. Now I really, really loved my bangs like that. I think I looked, you know, really good with straight across bangs. But my problem is, is that they just kept on getting in the way. I just got sick of having to like style them and stuff. Having straight bangs or fringe bangs takes a lot of work. And like every time that I showered, I had to like blow dry them down and then like straighten them and kind of like, you know, fix them and make them look good and it kind of got really annoying so I was like you know what I'm just gonna let them grow out if I want to cut them like that again I will definitely do it um, they're at a really bad stage right now where they don't <laughs> they don't tuck behind my ears and they like get in the way all the time so I did buy some like clips to wear so I've been wearing those recently and I've been wearing a lot of headbands because when I'm working and stuff and I'm like looking down, they literally go like right in front of my eyeballs. So we love that. <laughs> okay, so that was everything for the Planning Roses profile. I'm just gonna quickly go over to the Jenna Rose Beasley profile, my personal Instagram, and we're gonna quickly go through some of these. So the first one is, what was your favorite thing that you did this summer? And I think there's two things, both regarding like building relationships and one being that we built quite a good relationship both Francis and I with another couple named Tom and Asha they were actually the couple that lived with Francis before I moved in they actually moved out probably mainly because I was moving in they did want to get their own place but me moving in kind of like pushed them to do that and so yeah Asha and Tom lived with Francis and they were always friends but We've recently started like hanging out together. They've been here a few times. We've been to their apartment as well. And we have bonded over like board games and stuff. We always have board game nights together. And it's just, it's been really fun to be able to like build a relationship with another couple. And I just, I've been loving it. So that's the one thing. And then also overall just building my like Twitch community or Discord community. Um, I recently started streaming on Twitch, Animal Crossing, and then we created a Discord. And just like the community on there has been absolutely amazing. And it has been like my favorite thing this entire summer. Unfortunately, like with the whole COVID thing, there hasn't been a lot of like adventures or like places that we've went that has been a great memory but I definitely think just creating like bonds with people and communities have been my favorite thing this summer. I just, I just really really liked it. <laughs> Next question is what's the name of the pink paint color in your office? I love it. So I think I forgot to mention the color but the color that I picked for the Planning Roses office was Cabbage Rose or Rose Cabbage. Either way, it's from Sherwin-Williams. It's a gorgeous color and I'm so freaking happy that I picked it. Next up is, uh, will you be getting married? And I believe I've answered this before, but yes, I will be eventually, don't know when, but yes. Um, next is, are you doing Vlogtober this year? I 
kind of want to. Um, I'm also wanting to do um, a Vlogmas as well, but I think it was like two years ago I did both Vlogtober and Vlogmas and it was like a lot, but I'm considering doing both of them. I'm into making both of them if you guys want me to. So let me know down in the comments if you would like me to do both Vlogtober and Vlogmas. I think if I did that, I would maybe take a break from uploading a ton in November maybe. The only thing about that, that's when I'm releasing my planner. So I feel like I'd wanna be vlogging a lot during that time. But in Vlogtober, I would be showing you guys a lot of like the days leading up to me releasing my planner. So let me know what you guys would want me to do. Maybe I could just do like one compiled vlog of November, like a monthly vlog at the end of November? Let me know. Let me know down below what you guys think I should do. There's a lot of things that I've asked you guys to put down in the comments, so I am very excited to um, talk to you guys in the comments. But yeah, I think that's going to be everything for this vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed as well, please, please consider hitting that subscribe button down there um, and hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified whenever I upload videos. I'm gonna go have some ice cream. I love you guys so much. Remember, you are somebody's reason to smile and I will see you in next week's vlog. Bye guys.